Hey guys, I wanted to make a speed test comparison here between Delvic and Art running on the Galaxy S5. Now, I don't have two Galaxy S5s, it's actually the same one with quite a bit of editing going on, so bear with me. I've tried my best to link these as accurately as I possibly could, so yeah. Art is said to be the future of Android. It's meant to be the faster and more efficient runtime, but it's still in the experimental stage and it's not quite finished yet, so we're probably not seeing all the benefits. If you want to try this yourself, you can find it in the hidden development options menu. You can see I've got nothing in the recents, and we're going to start this off with an app opening speed test. Just a little FYI for you guys, if you're thinking about trying Art, do give your device a chance to sit and cool down after switching, as it does take a while, especially on the Galaxy S5, and the device does get pretty damn warm, so it wouldn't quite be fair to judge it straight after doing the switch. I did give my device about 10 to 15 minutes to sit and cool down, so it should be fine. Now, in terms of the app opening speed that you guys have been watching while I've been talking, I honestly didn't see any big differences between the two runtimes. The Galaxy S5 was already blazingly quick to open up applications anyway, so we really didn't see any improvement here. And in some cases, Art actually seemed to be a little bit slower than Delvic, but that could easily have been anything from differences in server response to just normal fluctuations on my home internet. But for me right now, the bottom line is Art really doesn't give any measurable performance increase in the raw app opening speed on the Galaxy S5, and in some situations, it may actually be a little bit slower than Delvic but there's nothing conclusive here and again raw app opening speed isn't the only thing we're going to be looking at it's not the only thing that matters so keep watching and again I want to remind you that art is experimental right now it's hidden away in a development option menu and it's sure to be developed further so it can only get better and better so yeah Next up, we're going to be moving over to the multitasking, and if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that this is where the Galaxy S5 can't quite keep up with the Nexus 5 on stock Android, or even the HTC One M8 with its Sense 6. So let's see if Art can help out here, and I'll be honest, straight away I could tell a difference. The multitasking seemed more responsive and quicker on Art, and you can pretty much see that from the slow motions here quite evidently. There wasn't as large a pause when hitting the app, which was nice. It's still not as fast as the Nexus 5 or the M8, but it's definitely an improvement. Now I know those pauses don't seem like much when you're looking at them individually, but when you add them up and you're trying to switch between applications quickly, that's when it makes the difference to your user experience, and it definitely made it feel that little bit more responsive. There's still an annoying delay when you actually hit the multitasking button, I'm not quite sure what that is, I can't change anything there, um, but it's definitely improved on Art than it was on Delvic. I also briefly checked out some scrolling in applications like Google+, Twitter, and Tapatalk, and quite honestly, it was hard for me to tell, so you guys will have to watch this and see which one you think is smoother. Let me know in the comments. Again, while using both of these at their separate times, I couldn't notice a major difference. If I had to pick one being slightly smoother, it probably would be Art, but I'm not sure if that's just because I want it to be smoother or if it is actually smoother. So yeah, let me know if you guys can see any differences at all here. And lastly here, I thought I'd go ahead and test out the game loading speed on Nova 3 between the two runtimes. So we'll just wait and see what happens here. And Art finishes about a second in front of Delvic, so not much difference there at all. So there you go guys, that's the difference between Art and Delvic on the Galaxy S5. It definitely seems to help in the multitasking area on the Galaxy S5, but other than that, I can't really see any other noticeable improvements. It still can't match the fluidity of stock Android on the Nexus 5 or even Sense 6 on the HTC One M8. But in my opinion, the runtime isn't going to really solve the problem. It's going to more mask it than anything else. It is up to Samsung to optimize their software for smoothness and fluidity rather than just packing loads of features but again that's my opinion let me know what you guys think peace out